My name's Daisy, I'm with S.H.I.E.L.D. We're here for your protection. They built a team to defend the world. What is happening to me? Against the very ones they fight to save. We call ourselves Inhumans. But now face a threat. I'm not scared of you. You should be. That is beyond belief. How's it going, everybody? Today I'm going to be reviewing episode one of season three, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., Laws of Nature. So it's going to be spoilers for this episode, so if you haven't seen it, go watch it, then come back here. So let's start thing off where they start off the episode, that opening scene. Now I'd seen it previously because I had watched the little uh, five minute clip on YouTube. They released it a couple days before on YouTube. Um, and what I will say is, man, this it's a great opening scene. I mean, you don't get to see every character or anything like that, but you get to see Quake or Daisy or Sky, any of her names, whatever you want to call her, uh, doing her thing, saving, I can't remember the character's name, but saving the guy who got in, uh, discovered that he is inhuman and I thought that was a great opening scene just to, to let everyone know this is how this season's gonna be it's gonna be inhumans we're gonna be tracking these people down and then you get that opposition coming in and you don't really know you're like these guys bad and and I thought they were I thought when I saw that clip especially I'm like these are gonna be I guess the team they're going up against in that season but turns out it is actually a character named Lash who is killing everybody he's an inhuman he doesn't like these inhumans just popping up here and there and uh, it looks like, I don't know if Coulson and that other team are going to team up. They might be like, I don't really like you. You don't really like us. But we might need to team up in order to take down this guy. I think that's where I see this this uh, season kind of going, or at least the first half of it. What I will say about Lash, because that leads us into him. Uh, I, I know some people have been complaining about his look. I'm like, uh, I didn't, didn't really like the whole makeup of Anna. I mean, kind of looks like a Power Rangers villain. Uh, I didn't mind it. I got used to it right away. As soon as I saw, I'm like, okay, this fits in the, fits into the story. And you get to see Daisy and Lincoln trying to take him on, and it looks like they did a decent job on him. Like he 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 had to run off, so I I don't know. It doesn't seem super powerful right now, but I'm sure he's just like he didn't care enough to take him on. He's like, Whatever, I'm just out of here. I'll just I'll do this another time. Then you get Fitz kind of going out on his own. Uh, I don't know where is his little disability, his memory loss is that he had last season where that went to because it seems like he's a okay now like 100 percent uh but but i liked it uh fits on his own he's, he's he's becoming a badass a little bit of a badass now um doing his own thing trying to find out where simmons is i mean he he loves her so he's he's gonna do whatever he can whatever it takes to get her back but i like that and then he comes back and colson sees him they kind of have that talk where simmons is gone you gotta let her go and he, they see that scroll i think it's a death on it um and he just snaps and he's like i don't care i need to i need to find her and he just goes in there shoots off the lock goes and confronts that piece of stone and just and the acting by ian de was in phenomenal it was phenomenal he just screaming at it I, I thought it was intense and the emotion he had there like it was real and you see hunter and bobby they're kind of still yeah at least in the beginning of the episode you're like oh they're not talking again surprise surprise but it turns out that's actually not the case. They're kind of just kind of flirting, and he gets the ring back to her, and yada, 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 and, y and you see all that happen. So I, I, I like that a little bit. I mean, it, it was maybe the least favorite part of the episode. I, I, this episode, was it, was it was pretty awesome, I have to say. I have to call it what it is. I wasn't a huge fan of the first half, the, especially the first half, up until the Winter Soldier crossover in season one. I wasn't a huge fan. I'm like, if this is... I watched it just because it was in the Marvel Universe, but then after that, and especially season two, I love season two. I thought it was great. And I, I like how this season's been set up so far. May again is still not back with the team. I'm sure she's coming back. I mean, she's on this right here, so she's she's coming back eventually. But give it. I, I think we'll see her next episode. I haven't seen any scenes from next episode or anything. I, I don't look, watch them anymore, the scenes. Uh, she may have popped up in there, but I, I think she'll be back next episode. I think we're also going to get a hint of where Ward is next episode, because he wasn't there either. But yeah, you kind of got three separate storylines, and that, again, Ward, that kind of links into that. Bobby and Hunter are going to try and kill Ward, and so you kind of got these three separate storylines that, that popped up. That might have been, my again, my only complaint. Another one of my only complaints is uh, just they, they felt the, the three storylines, they kind of flowed together with the Fitz one, uh, but that other one, it just... There wasn't a gradual flow in from the story, um, per se. But again, I'm I'm nitpicking right now with with these negatives. Um, overall, it was a really solid episode. 
and I like where it's going. You got to you got some hints that maybe what Civil War is going to be like. Uh, you got some hints that not hints but references to Ant Man and Age of Ultron. I know they did Age of Ultron a bit last last season where it led right into it uh, with Sokovia and all that. But the references didn't seem forced. They they just flowed organically. They didn't really linger on them for too long. They were there. They were said. It's like oh. Pim, Pim Technologies, yada yada yada, and all that. And it looks like Colson's gonna be needing a new hand. I'm sure I'll get one back soon because it's just easier effects wise, just if he has a normal looking hand. But yeah, that about sums up the episode. I really, really dug it. Uh, I'll be trying to do these every week. It's gonna get kind of crazy starting next week when I have Flash and Agents of Shield on Tuesday. So I'll I'll get them up as soon as I can. Hopefully, hopefully that night. If not, it'll be sometime that week. Uh, plus, we'll have the movie reviews that I'm going to have to do. So I'm going to be seeing Sicario and The Martian hopefully this weekend. For sure one of them. Not sure about both, but hopefully those reviews will be up. And uh, yeah, so that's about it. Be sure to subscribe to the channel. Like this video. More content along the way coming very soon. Um, and that's about it. So I'll uh, talk to you guys later.